rapper Kanye West spent a stunning and surreal half hour talking to President Trump in the Oval Office. Here's what he had to say. Right here, let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. Trump is on his hero's journey right now, and he might not have expected to have a crazy m like Kanye West run up and uh, support. What we want to start with is, uh, I, 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 brought a, I brought a gift with me right here. Um, this right here. Well, there you go. These are just a few of the quick, crazy moments from yesterday. <laughs> Unbelievable moments that happening in the Oval Office. But as we know, he was there for about 30 minutes, just kind of doing, being Kanye. What do you guys I think? I like that awkward hug that happened. Know, <laughs> that was right? fun. It's kind of like we've all done that when you hug someone and they're sitting or they're at a different level. You're just and they like, don't really eh. want to hug you? Yeah. I know the feeling. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do no. you guys think? I of mean, I think the positive of him, we could take this a lot of different directions. I think the positive thing is that he was there to talk about prison reform a little bit. He, both Kanye and Kim have been um, trying to do good things with that. That's something that needs to be reformed in our country. So, I mean, he's ridiculous. We all know that. But that's something that I really liked about this and, whole thing. And how about the passcode, though, to get on a different note? The zero, zero, yeah. zero? Yeah. Easiest you passcode. You saw a close-up of his phone yeah. and zero, zero, zero. So we all know yeah. if you ever get your hands on Kanye's phone, you I know. know you, might, you might be able to get a pic of Kim in there if somebody steals uh, his phone, right? Hurry, <laughs> hurry. <laughs> Do you okay. think he'll change it after this? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so I think it was just a bizarre moment to have these two in the room together. I will say I feel like there was um, just a little disrespect for the Oval Office, you know, mm -hmm. when he was cussing. Um, the fact that uh, Donald Trump brought him there in the first place, I really feel like it's kind of taking advantage of a guy who Kanye needs help right now. Yeah. I think that's really the most blunt way to put it. He has told us he's off his medications. I think he needs help right now. Yeah, I agree with you. I think he needs to be back on his medication. He needs some help. And you could just tell from the rent, he didn't seem right. He yeah. hasn't seemed right since his mother passed away years ago. Yeah, and like to step away from the cameras. Like yeah. uh, Jordan talked about this with Saturday Night Live. They feel like they exploited him. Because when you get Kanye, you know Kanye is going to say something crazy. Yeah. So it's like, I, it just feels like Donald Trump took this and exploited the moment here. Exactly. Exactly. And he gave him some Yeezys, too, Stop. I mean. <laughs> Let's talk about finalizing a divorce, okay? So you're separated from your soon-to-be ex-spouse, and you may soon feel completely over them, but yep. even though you're separated, you actually still are married. So, yeah. And you might want to move on with your life yeah. and date some people. So here's the question. If you're separated but not divorced, should you wait till your divorce to get married? Well, I don't think so. I think it depends on each situation, right? If, if you're divorced, if everything's finalized and you're going through the process okay. and you know you're not getting back And I to should get... say date, I'm sorry. Yeah. Should you wait before yeah. you get divorced in order to okay. date? Okay. So I think no. If, if you know the relationship, the, the marriage is going to end, I think you should be able to date if you're both at that point. You should be comfortable because life goes on. If you're going to be done with it, you might as well move on with your life. Really? It's hard. I feel like when you're younger, you think like, of course you shouldn't. Of course you need to wait yeah. to be divorced before you do anything. That sounds horrible to do that. But, you know, as you get older and you see people go through this type of thing, it's like by the time you actually file for a divorce, you're so, like, you, you know the relationship's not going to mend. And then often, like, only one one person can drag out a divorce for like two years at yeah. a time. So should your life really be put on hold for all of that time? I don't know. I mean, I think everybody's healing process is a little bit different. Sometimes it can take a long time and you shouldn't date until you're ready. I know people that have waited until their divorce is completely done because it feels right to them. But I think it's just different for everybody. Yeah. I'm totally on the fence with this one because I can see it either way. Like you said, a divorce can take two years, three years. Like it could really yeah, take a long right. time. Yeah. And are you supposed to wait that that whole time? So. I don't know. I'm on the fence. You're going for a yes. Yes. You're going for I don't know. <laughs> uh, Maybe. Every person. Case by case. She's but case I, by but case. I wouldn't, I wouldn't shame somebody for doing that at all. Yeah. You know? It's your life, right? Yeah. A photographer is taking pictures <laughs> at the wedding. Let's set this up. The stepmom comes in and just gives him a shove and tries to take a picture in front of Ooh. the wedding photographer that you probably paid hundreds to thousands of dollars for. Who's at fault here? I think the mom, she got in the way. You can never get in front of a bride's moment. The cameraman had the swim move over there. It's and a get... stepmom, though. Yeah, but you gotta, get, you gotta get the perfect shot. You swim move over there, you gotta get the perfect so shot. So even though she to. has like high, she's high on the hierarchy for family, yeah. you still feel like she doesn't have the right to, yes. or she does have the right to get the shot. She doesn't. Does I, think, not. I think the photographer, the yeah, has, oh. has the right to get in front of her because they're paid, they want those prime time shots. Yeah. And sometimes you can miss it. And if she's in the picture, mm -hmm. the bride would be very mad about that. Yeah, Probably. I think speaking of the bride, I mean, she's the boss of this whole operation. <laughs> she's the one who's paying for this whole thing. So I think that if like, 
I think the photographer knew that she was being paid for one very important shot. They were kissing at the end of the mm -hmm. wedding. Like, that was one of the big things she was hired to do. So if she didn't get that shot and she just let the stepmom step in front of her and block it, like, the bride wouldn't understand that. She'd be like, well, why didn't you step around? Well, why didn't you do this? So I feel like the photographer was just kind of doing what she had to do to get the shot. But that shove, it was kind of savage. <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. Okay, so I'm here for it because I paid thousands of dollars for my photographer. And when you think about your wedding, I always tell people splurge on photography. That's the only thing you have left to remember that day. You spent thousands of dollars. The flowers don't last. You probably won't wear the dress again unless you do a part two. <laughs> um, and, you know, all you have are those pictures. And so for people to be in the way of that, that's frustrating. Yeah, yeah. it really is. I almost didn't get my pictures from my wedding. Why? The whole wrong situation with the what photographer. Happened? She wouldn't give us the pictures even after we paid her. It took two years Why? to get our pictures. I don't know. She just that's went on the... Nuts. She just held them from us, and then finally we threatened legal action. I was like, that sounds like a lawsuit. It, it was a bad situation. How much money did you owe her? No, I paid her everything. Are you sure? I 100%. I pay That's everybody crazy. right on time. Yeah. My wife almost lost it. Uh, so we, we got it back two I'm, years later, luckily. I'm glad luckily. you finally got them. Whew. My goodness. <laughs>